When you look at these three cars, like Audi A6, BMW 5 and Mercedes E-Class, they all look similar, right? If I put them in the same place and if I switch them, as you see, nothing much changes. It's, it's interesting, right? And the reason for that is the proportions. Today we're gonna talk about the proportions of E-segment sedan cars, which are Audi A6, BMW 5 and Mercedes E. We're gonna make some analysis, I will tell you some terms and the relations on the proportions and then we're gonna sketch our own sedan. First let's start with the wheelbase. Wheelbase is the distance between the front wheel center and the rear wheel center. So this distance is called the wheelbase. And as you see, if I draw the line in the same uh, vertical way, all cars have similar wheelbase. And to show it as proportions, I'm gonna sketch first the front wheel. Like this is one wheel here, and this is the rear wheel. And in between we can fit one, two, three, and a little bit more than three. So let's say, 3.25 wheels in between you can fix. Let me show you in a more clear way. As you see I used perfect circles. All three cars have a little bit more than three wheels in between. Now we can jump into the second analysis which is the height and overhangs. First let's start with the height. To understand the height of the car, this is the ground line, this is one wheel of distance and if I draw one more wheel distance it's almost top of the car. And for the overhangs we have the front and the rear overhangs. Basically the overhang is the distance from the wheel center to the front end of the car. This is the front overhang and for the rear it's from the rear wheel center to the rear end of the car. So as you see all three cars have a similar overhang which is almost one wheel distance from the end of the rear wheel and on the front it's almost half wheel after the front wheel. And some additional proportions here are if you see this distance it is called the ground clearance and if you draw a line from the wheel center and the ground and if you cut it in two, more or less, this is the proportions of the ground clearance. And this window area on the side called the greenhouse. And as you see, after the wheel, when we put one more wheel, if you cut it in half, like X and X, same distance, one of them will be the greenhouse and the rest will be the body panel. So these are the height and the overhangs proportions of these three cars. The third important proportion rule is the pillars. Pillars are the structures of the car and the first one is called A pillar, second one is B pillar and the third one is called C pillar. And what I want to show you is if you extend the A pillar in the same angle that it has, like if it's continuous this way, it will hit to the center of the front wheel. And you can see the same on every car. If you extend A pillar, it will hit to the center of the front wheel center. And on the back, it can be a little different on each car, of course, but if we draw a straight line from the rear wheel center, it will more or less cut the end of the greenhouse. As you see, Audi has a little bit longer, BMW is almost close but a little bit shorter, and Mercedes is almost exactly end of the greenhouse. And here we see it more clearly. The next proportional relationship I want to talk about is the lights, front and the rear lights. Let's take a look at the Audi. If I draw a straight line from the top of the wheels, you see that it hits the center of the front headlight. And we can see the same thing for BMW and the Mercedes. And on the rear, if this is the thickness of the rear light, and if I draw it one more time, it will be a half distance difference between the front light and the rear light. We can see the same on BMW and Mercedes as well. Here you can see it in a better and more clean way. And this is actually why we have segments for different cars. As I said, these are the E-segment sedan cars from these German manufacturers and that's why they all look similar to each other. Because there are road and safety regulations. So now we can jump into an empty file and we can turn on different proportions side by side and we can start sketching and designing our own sedan by considering these proportional relationships. But before that I want to tell you a little bit about my Car Design 101 sketching course. If you are interested in car design and want to learn more about secrets and sketch like a professional car designer, you can learn it in my course. Not only proportions but also you will learn perspective, line quality, line weight and the creativity. Also, I will give you practice files to be sure that you are on the right track. So if you want to sketch cars, you can go to the link in the description of this video and start today. Alright, let's sketch our own car. So first I'm gonna sketch the ground line. First we will create the structures. And here I'm putting the front wheel and the second wheel. Three. So this is the front wheel and these are three wheels and there will be a little bit more distance here and then we will have the rear wheel. So I'm just drawing also top of the wheel line to be sure they're on the same size. 
So we put this proportion of the wheelbase already and now let's go to the height and the overhangs. For the height we're gonna put this wheel and this will be more or less the height of our sedan and then we can take care of the overhangs which is like half wheel on the front and almost one wheel on the back. So we also put this one here. So now let's go to the pillars and the lights. For the pillars, the A pillar should be something like that going to the center of the front wheel and the C pillar should be on the center of the rear wheel. So we can already start creating our silhouette of the car but also we need to consider this line here actually which is the greenhouse line which is in the middle of this wheel, this circle. So the silhouette of this car should be something like this. It's already created actually the silhouette, silhouette of the proportions by the way because our design can change and we are just creating the proportional structure here. And for the ground clearance as we see as we said before if I draw a line from center and cut it in half this should be the height of the car, the ground clearance. Here we will have the greenhouse, the window area. We can design our own shape. And the last thing will be the headlight structure here. Here on the front and on the rear, as we said, there will be a little bit of gap. So this will be the rear. So this is a very basic and dirty structure and now we will use it as a guideline. And as you see, it already looks like a sedan in my opinion, as the proportional approach. Now we're gonna lower the opacity and we're gonna use it as a guideline. If you are curious about the app that I'm using, it is called Photoshop. I also have my Photoshop course that you can find the link in the description again. So let's start sketching the wheels. I want to make a five spoke wheel here. I'm adding a little bit of depth to this wheel because of the perspective rules. And I create very basic five spoke wheel here. And here will be the brand logo, whatever brand we are sketching for. I will just copy this wheel, mirror it and put it on the back. Then I want to emphasize the ground line a little bit. And the ground line is actually not one single line. As you see the car has the shadow underneath. So we need to put also a little bit thickness to this line to create our shadow. And also if you look carefully on some images you can see also the other wheel on the other side of the car which should be a little bit of thickness and then we can start putting the ground line here. So the next step I want to focus on the silhouette of our car. I want to make it very nicely flowing roof line but not like a coupe it's still a sedan and I'm, I'm sketching very relaxed lines, very longer lines here and creating a basic silhouette of the car. So now we need to start thinking about our own design, like what kind of feature lines we want, what kind of shoulder lines and brand language. Let's say we want to design something a bit minimal and modern, but not like an existing brand here. So I can just create maybe like a Volvo even. We can create like a Thor's hammer from the Volvo. And then we can have a very flat grill area here. You don't need to focus on the front of the car when you are sketching a side view because this is not the point of sketching a side view. We need to find good ideas on the side of the car. So we can say there is like a strong shoulder line here and it disappears on this area and then it continues until the front. And then we can create a side highlight catcher. Highlight catcher is the difference on the surface treatment on the side, as you can see also on other cars. This is called highlight catchers because as you see when the light is from top, you can see clearly on the Audi or also Mercedes. The light comes from the top, so it catches the highlight. This is why it's called highlight catcher, obviously. And here on the back, I want to do something like... We are not doing directly a Volvo because I think the silhouette would be a little bit different. But still, let's use some Volvo elements to just show you the proportions work well.
All right, now we can start our greenhouse, which can be something like this. And here we can try different ideas, like maybe there is a little bit of change on the level here, like a little tooth. And it's always better to check sometimes these rules while sketching if we miss them or not. So if I extend this line, it goes to center of the front wheel. Here is we are here we are correct and all the structure lines we are using as reference anyway. I'm gonna add a little bit ranked on the hood area. A little bit of more line thickness. And again, just to remind you about line thickness, line weight, these kind of things are really important to emphasize your sketch, emphasize your design in a nice way on the sketch. And that's why I created my course that you can see in the link, which is in the description of this video. All right, now I can hide the layer with the first structure that we created, which was this one. So if I hide it, as you see, we have a bit more clean sketch. And let's add also the doors for the sketch. There will be also a little bit of gap between the wheel of the, and the body of the car, of course. Sometimes on the sketches, rather than creating the perfect gap here, I like to increase the size of the wheels, like this a little bit. It also adds a little bit more sporty approach to the car, a bit more stronger approach. So I keep on going with the door lines, as you see. And for the doors, another proportion is front door and the rear door on the bottom are definitely not the same. If this one is like 55% or even like 60%, this one should be 45 or 40% 40 of the length. So when we draw the door line here in the middle, it should be something like that. Now we can put a little bit of basic interior, like the front seats, the steering wheel area the rear seat here so the human can see outside nicely and then I'm just playing with the line thickness a little bit so as you see it's already like a good proportions for a e-segment sedan car here and we can add just very basic shading on this just to make sketch a little bit more appealing I will follow the surface treatment of this vehicle to create nice shadows and highlights Here there will be a reflection like this, but this highlight catcher would be light area. And let's make some hatching to create the depth. I speeded up this hatching part a little bit to not make it boring for you but as you see I didn't make a perfect hatching or perfect shadow because this is a sketch and the proportions are already correct so it already looks nice and it has the flavor of rough sketching so I can emphasize some parts a bit more than the rest we can add a little bit of maybe background here to make the car more on the foreground maybe something like this and we can sign our sketch. All these analyzes we did are for the E-segment sedan cars. Before I also prepared same type of video for C-segment hatchbacks and SUVs. If you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe me to see more and more about car design related videos. Also here you can click and watch other proportion videos. Thank you and I hope to see you in the next video.